what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling, feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back here on the video guys. Today I'm here my beautiful guest. Peace and makeover. My name is Devin and welcome to it's the best Today we're going to be reacting to Oprah Winfrey reacts to getting cancelled after new revelations. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'll have to check it out. Let me give you a brief summary. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, they said Oprah Winfrey has a... Or should I use a hub where she have girls who do... Um, child trafficking so she have some kind of like foundations in, a, in africa south africa to be precise when she help um less privileged girls and take care of them but i said that is the main um place when she do try trafficking and they are enlightening it more like things are being discovered in hollywood more and the name that has been pumped out most time is oprah winfrey so they are digging more into her and trying to know whether she's shitty or it's just a bluff. So that is it. That's all I know for now. So let's check this out. You know how those guys will talk to us right now, right? Let's get into this video. When the curtains are closed, I know it when the cameras aren't running. That's why Oprah Winfrey does not want to sit down publicly with me nor my husband to have a conversation. Oprah Winfrey is a slave trader. Why do you think she has that school in South Africa? Why does she hang out with who she hangs out with? Rose McGowan has put Oprah on blast. Rose recently called out Oprah on Twitter over her past associations with some controversial men. Rose wrote, quote, from being Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments. Hey, when most people get think read. Oprah, first thing that comes to mind is that she's a legend that's made her mark in the industry. And while this may be true, she has also managed to remain at the center of several scandals over the years. Well, it seems those scandals are starting to catch up with her as she was recently called out and canceled by the vast majority. But I know that's hard to believe considering the standard she's created for herself in the industry, but you'd be surprised about just how shady her journey to the top has been. Good thing you have me because I'm here with all the gist. So just stay tuned till the end so you don't miss exactly what she did that tipped the public over. And if the abuser is any good, he or she is going to make you feel like you're a part of it. As someone in showbiz, it's generally almost impossible to completely avoid scandals. But even with as hard as it may be, Oprah takes the scandal game to the next level, as the television diva has been repeatedly caught up in a series of less than ideal situations. And one thing that has been constant about these situations she's been in is that they usually involve another party. To drive my point, let's take her relationship with Harvey Weinstein, for example. Winfrey and Weinstein have had a professional relationship that stretches back two decades. There are many photographs of her kissing and hugging the mogul at awards ceremonies and events sponsored by the Weinstein Company. She has starred in and produced movies that his company distributed, including The Butler and The Great Debaters. For those who may not know, Harvey Weinstein is an American filmmaker who rose to become the face of an abuser for the Hash Me Too movement. Per the news, five years ago, the story that had long been whispered in the halls of agencies and studios as well as on film and television sets finally became public. A series of bombshell articles revealed that Harvey Weinstein harassed and assaulted dozens of women for decades and used his power to bully them into silence. According to TMZ, Weinstein said Winfrey encouraged him to defend himself publicly, implying that the TV host might have actually been on Weinstein's side against so many women. However, her people said they never spoke directly, and she was only interested in talking to him for a TV interview. Let's talk about what's happening with Harvey Weinstein. I know you posted on. So I think this is a watershed <laughs> moment. And if we make this just about Harvey Weinstein, then it, we will have lost this moment. Interestingly, 
Winfrey made no mention of Weinstein during her inspiring Golden Globe speech. She has made it clear during other public utterances on the scandal that the cultural shift underway went much further than Weinstein's crimes alone. In fact, an aspiring actor, Britain's Caddy and Noble, who spoke at a press conference in November, alleges that Weinstein forced himself on her in a hotel room in Cannes in 2014 and said he used his relationship with Winfrey to groom her. I mean, she could deny it all she wants, but this basically establishes a connection that just seems too close to supporting him. Well, in truth, we shouldn't be too surprised that she might have been on Weinstein's side. I mean, this is someone that lied to the world about getting abused in her book just to boost sales. That's right. And that's not even the only lie she was exposed for in said book, exposure that came from her own family. Although Winfrey claims she never had any new dresses or dolls and had to adopt two cockroaches as pets growing up in rural Mississippi, her cousin contends she was actually relatively spoiled as a little girl. In the biography, Oprah, author Kitty Kelly has claimed that Winfrey's tales have alienated her from much of her family. Where Oprah got that nonsense about growing up in filth and roaches, I have no idea, Catherine Carr Esters said. I've confronted her and asked, why do you tell such lies? Oprah told me that's what people want to hear. The truth is boring. Esters also added that the man in Oprah's life, Stedman Graham, was not really her partner, but rather a fixture to convince her audience that she was normal. Oprah keeps Stedman around because she wants her audience to accept her as a normal woman with a man in her life, but from what I saw during those four years, I can tell you there's nothing there with Stedman, nothing at all. James Van Sweden, a landscape architect who spent years working for the couple, said the tabloid also quoted Oprah's father, Vernon, as saying, she may be admired by the world, but I know the truth. So does God and so does Oprah. Two of us remain ashamed, Vernon said. And you know what they say about liars, it's usually a pattern. This was further proven by the other series of controversies Oprah got caught up in as time passed. One of these was the case of the false guru she brought on her show a while back. He is better known as Joao de Deus, or John of God. He's a Brazilian medium healer, subject of a profile by Oprah. Faria became famous for his intense methods of healing. Though he doesn't have a medical license, he performs both spiritual healing praying intensely for believers and placing hands on them to cure their afflictions, and what appear to be actual surgical procedures without anesthesia. Faria has been written about for years since his practice started in 1978, but an episode of Oprah in 2010 devoted to him raised his profile exponentially. Later, four women appeared on Brazilian television to accuse Faria of abusing them when they'd come to him for assistance. Speaking on TV Globo, three of the women described their encounters with Faria to host Pedro Bial on condition of anonymity. Dutch choreographer Zahira Lineke Moose decided to be named and said that during one of her trips to see the healer to be cured of the trauma of previous sexual assault, he took her into a back room and had her masturbate him. He then had her pick out a gemstone from a set and granted special treatment. She has also accused him of raping her during another session. You would think that a scandal How like this with her name attached to it would have been a he height. But as I give you these details, it gets even worse. More than a decade ago, the celebrity TV host set out to establish a high school in South Africa for just girls, but things quickly turned a different light not so long after its official opening. See, shortly after the all-girls high school opened in 2007, a school matron, Virginia Tiny Makopo, was charged with sexually molesting several girls. At the time, Winfrey flew to South Africa to offer a personal apology to the students and their parents, citing her own experience with sexual abuse, an experience that, if I might add, her own family refutes. Nothing is more serious or devastating to me than an allegation of misconduct by an adult against any girl at the academy. Winfrey said in a statement at the time, I will do everything within my power to ensure their safety and well-being. But where all of this actually goes south is when it hit the media a couple of months into it that Makopo, the same person that was charged for the evil act against those girls, was acquitted of the charges. And then shortly after, Oprah gets on the news to say this. And somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is your It feels good. Can you imagine just how far she's willing to go just to push her less than ideal narrative? And to top all of these already terrible things that have happened on account of her one way or the other, someone else in the entertainment industry has called her out. The person in question here is the comedian Monique. In a new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, 
the 55-year-old comedian discusses both the origins and current standings of her public feuds with Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daniels, and other celebrities. Everything started in 2004 when she met Daniels. The following year, she appeared in his directorial debut, Shadow Boxer. From there, Monique says, she and Daniels never stopped communicating, all the way up to her starring role in the 2009 film, Precious. The film quickly earned critical praise and was part of the awards season discussion, something that Daniels, along with producers Winfrey and Perry, wanted to capitalize on. Monique declined to go on a press tour without being compensated for her time, and thus the rift began. As for why she didn't want to fly to France to promote her critically acclaimed film, Monique told news outlets that the same thing she told Winfrey at the time. I said, Oprah, I'm doing a talk show. I'm doing a comedy tour. I have a husband and I have babies, Monique recalls. I have a little bit of downtime and I'm going to take advantage of it. So I'm not going anywhere because I'm not obligated to go anywhere. I've done my part. So we mutually agreed to disagree. That was it. And while you'd expect a fellow woman to understand that, it wasn't the case with Oprah. At least that's what Mo believes. Because according to the comedian, next thing I know, I am considered difficult and hard to work with adding that she feels she was blackballed in Hollywood as a result of the situation. And although this move from Oprah and the camp affected her whole life and career by extension, Oprah has to this day refused to apologize, which is why Monique decided to call her out again. Well, fans seem to know exactly what she is, and many haven't held back on speaking about it. One Redditor wrote, I've had first-hand contact with Winfrey. She is not a nice person. Stuff she gives away are given to her as write-offs. She comes off as a healer. However, she will leave you in the dust and ignore you unless you're on her level or you can help her. She was a FC person on my flight and I tried to serve her. She ignored me and wouldn't even acknowledge to me if she wanted a drink or not on American Airlines. She's a total phony. Looks like there's a lot that goes on with her behind the cameras that most of us don't know about. Anyway, as with all other things in life, only time will reveal the truth. That's it for this video. Goodbye. Wow. Okay, uh, I would say I'm the judge because I've not actually heard Oprah's side of view. So we we let the case, the truth will always come out. There's yeah. nothing hidden under the sun. So the truth will always come out. Um, I was very, 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 very surprised about them calling Oprah out because I know this woman is legendary ever since I was a little boy. I've always known about Oprah. The how her story, how she come about, how she strive from nothing to something. I've always that is her story. She started from grass to grace. That is all I know about Oprah. Uh she's triumph. So hearing about her starting a foundation in South Africa was kinda of like suspicious. Like why South Africa in in particular? You get that? Why South Africa? Why not other countries? There are other countries as um, even America. Even Mexico. Like why South Africa in particular? Like why they? Why don't you like make it more broad? Because it's it started two thousand seven. Why don't you? Why haven't you increased more South Africa to different places? But I, I'm not the judge, so we we'll keep watching. We we'll keep seeing uh the truth unveil itself time by time but a lot of people are really against that and most of the people I'm seeing right here are black people mm. you get that talking bad about her like her own race color I already shading her so it's it's surprising well we'll keep watching and we keep seeing and I pray to I pray she's not part of the um slave trade um sex through child trafficking and uh, I pray she's not part of it. I just want to see that it is not true. But the the odds are, are against her. So I just want to hear part of the view. I just want to know more and hear side of the view. So what do you think? Well, I feel that um, if someone is popular, big, everyone will have something to say, whether good or bad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know if she's one in the wrong and not yet to judge her except she's been arrested and there's evidence that she committed any crime, crime i yeah. still will support her because she's a celebrity she has been um celebrity someone we all decades. look up to so i'm not going to sit here and just hearing something about her once 
and be like, oh my gosh, I never knew she was like this. As long as she's not arrested for anything, as long as there's no proof, there's no evidence that she committed any crime, I'm not going to say <laughs> for it. She's innocent until proven guilty. Yes, sir. So that's just my take on this. Everyone will have different things to say. And sometimes uh, rumors go out too much that people end up believing that is true. This may start up as a white lie, a little joke, stuff like that. Just, oh, she created, she opened this foundation in South Africa. What if she's doing um, child Step trafficking? Yeah. Then someone will be like, oh, I heard that uh, Oprah is doing tra- trafficking and stuff like that. On that person will be like, you see, it's keep on going. People Spread start um, exaggerating the lie and start making it look like it's the truth. So I don't know if she is doing it, but I'm not going to judge her based on what people have said, except she's been arrested and she's been charged to court and they said, yeah, she did this. Other than that, who am I to judge? Okay, that's true. Yes. Comment down below what you think. What is your side of the view? What do you think? Do you think Oprah is guilty or not? <laughs> Comment down below, guys. <laughs> you think she's guilty? Uh, let's see the comment. Let's see the comment, guys. Well, this is one video. Uh, let's keep watching. The truth will definitely come out. You know how I'll do yeah, it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all